If you're planning on making Italy your home, or if you're just going to be here for an extended period of time, and at some point you're probably gonna feel some form of culture shock. That's our topic for today. The tips and strategies that I have in today's video have worked for me. Hopefully they'll work for you too, but it really depends on the individual. It depends on where you're at in life, what your goals are, and what you wanna do in this country. This also depends on why you're in Italy. Are you here for love, for work, or are you like me? Did you come here just because you're of Italian origin and you wanted to explore Italy? Please note that these tips are for when you are at the initial stages of culture shock. In other words, this is when you are uh, fresh off the boat, so to speak. At the end of this video, I'm going to reveal a tip that works for me, has worked for me, and I'm pretty sure it can help you too. All right, let's begin. Iniziamo. Now, for the first one, you may or may not agree with me. My first job here in Italy was at a private language school in Naples, and they also set me up in an apartment with other native English speakers. In lingua, so this was the first language school where I worked here in Naples. I can't say that I miss it really. So at the very beginning, I spent most of my time with other native English speakers. I would say that at the beginning, this did help to ease my transition into Italian life. Personally, I think this approach is okay, but the problem that I've seen with, with other expats is that they never fully leave that little bubble. You know, um, all their friends are English speakers, and so then they never really adapt to the, um, the host country. The next tip is, and you've probably already guessed it, make friends with the Italians. Now, if you're coming here and you have no Italian skills whatsoever, then I do realize that this is probably gonna be a lot more difficult. However, I would make an attempt anyway. You know, um, be friendly with your neighbors. Even though you don't speak their language, they can sense if you are a civil, if you're a nice person. So this does go a long way, actually. This leads into my next tip, and this is learn the language. And a concept that I've repeated multiple times in this channel is that language and culture are directly interconnected. You really can't learn one and not the other. So with that said, the more that you immerse yourself in the study of the language, the more that you're going to find yourself learning more about the Italian people. It's inevitable. If you can, try to become romantically involved with somebody who is Italian. Believe me, this will actually go a long way. You will learn so much more linguistically and more about their culture than you could ever imagine. Before I met my wife, I was involved in a few relationships and this really did help me further insert myself into Italian society. But obviously, when you get married, yeah, you learn a ton about their country. This next one depends on how courageous you are. Now, assuming that your linguistic skills are up to par, this might actually be a good approach. And the best thing to do is just to directly insert yourself into daily life. Dive into the deep end. When you first jump in, it's cold and you've got that initial shock, really. But it does go away, and, and in the end, it is beneficial. In essence, just try and be a local as quick as possible. But David, what exactly does that mean? Shop where they shop, eat and drink where they do, and try and engage in conversation as often as you can. Believe me, the Italians are very forgiving of people who don't speak the language very well. Some Italians don't speak Italian that well. <laughs> Trying is the most important thing. Now, whether you're somebody who approaches culture shock head on, or if you are the other category of person who needs a bit more time to get adjusted, at some point we all want something familiar, be it a language, something from home, uh, a TV show, whatever it is. What I used to do and what I still do at night is I like to watch something in English, something that's familiar. At the end of the day, we like to relax. We like to just not think and, you know, turn our brains off, so to speak. Do make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying today's video. This does help the channel out. And also, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you subscribe. Grazie, andiamo avanti. The next bit of advice I would have for you is travel just get out of where you are because italy has so much to offer there are so many beautiful things to see and so it could be a nice distraction from the initial culture shock that you might be experiencing speaking of traveling you've probably noticed that i am not in rome right now we are in fact in sicily we are in a beach town near ragusa and i'm not really a beach guy but this is really beneficial for my daughter so i said okay let's take the daughter to the beach the human brain needs silence Personally, I think this is a great coping mechanism if you are feeling homesick. Now, this might be difficult if you are living in a big city like Rome. However, if you can, I would try and find somewhere which is natural and quiet. This could be a park, a forest, or just maybe somewhere secluded along the beach. In my opinion, this could work because when you put yourself in these types of locations, they really are location free. I mean, you can find them in multiple places throughout the planet. And so when you put yourself in these no locations, if you will, then you kind of forget where you are. You're neither here nor there. Take advantage of the positive differences. This can really help. One of the best differences is the food. Come on, this is Italy. Most people rave about the food in this country. In my situation, I was thrilled to have easy access to Neapolitan pizza, and there was a place 
right across from my apartment. They sold just genuine Neapolitan pizza for as low as 250. So these little things here and there that made me happy, they made the difference to help me ease into this country. Also, if you're going to be living here, then most likely you're not going to be driving, at least not in the beginning. So what that means is you'll be doing a lot more walking, and as a result, I think you'll find yourself a bit healthier. So if you're feeling a little bit uneasy about living here in the beginning, just keep in mind that one, you're probably eating better, and two, you're most likely walking everywhere. I say that because it is very easy to find yourself in a situation where your apartment or wherever you're living is very close to what you need, the pharmacy, the supermarket, in other words, everything for your daily needs. Everything for your daily needs. The best solution in my opinion really is to just keep moving. Always keep yourself occupied because this way you're transition into Italian society I think will be a lot quicker. Easier said than done, yeah I know. However, if you just sit around the house all day and you sulk, then that's not gonna help really, no. It's kind of like being dropped off at summer camp. Like I remember when I was 12 years old, my mother dropped me off at this place. It was the first time that I had ever spent the night somewhere. Hours after she dropped me off, I was just really, really homesick. It was the first time that I'd ever experienced homesickness. But eventually it wore off because the camp kept me busy. And that's kind of the same thing with Italy. Keep yourself busy in Italy. I think this will be more beneficial for you. So how exactly do you say, I am feeling homesick in English? Well, you don't want to translate literally. You don't want to say casa, malato. It makes absolutely no sense, no. There are a few different ways that you can say this, but here's the best one. I would say, sento la mancanza di casa. But you can also say, mi manca casa mia. But that's a bit different though. That's like saying, I miss home. Whereas the first one is, I feel homesick. Now, if you are looking to move this country and you'd like to know a little bit more about Italian culture, then do click on the playlist that you're seeing on the screen right now. And in these videos, I discuss Italian culture a little bit more in depth. As always, grazie mille per l'attenzione. Ci vediamo alla prossima. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate your time. Saluti dalla Sicilia. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.